Hey guys, Chris here for Tuman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips video, we will learn how to check and file the guitar's nut. In this series, I want to show you how to get the most out of your guitar and how to fix the most common issues. I try to use as few special tools as possible to make it easier for you to follow my steps. You need three steps to set up your guitar properly. First is the neck relief, then the nut, and then the bridge and the saddles. This time we will focus on the nut, but we have episodes on the other two steps as well. If you don't want to miss them, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. There are quite a few nut types, but the most common ones are a traditional nut and a locking nut. Let's focus on the traditional nut first, because that's where you can do most with just a few nut files. It doesn't matter if your guitar has a bone nut, a more modern composite nut, or a plastic nut, you will use the same tools and you will do the same thing. Let's check the nut on this guitar. This is what you do. You push down a string between the second and third fret, and then you check the distance between the bottom of the string and the first fret. There's a bit of a movement, but not a lot. That's exactly what I want to see. You of course check all the strings and make sure that the distance is pretty much the same. That's too much, for sure. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. And that is perfect. Fans of measuring tools, I have some numbers for you. This is perfect. I measured 0.13 millimeters on E6, which is something like your lowest limit. You should not go lower than that. Always use the right gauge nut file per string to avoid tuning issues. Your average hardware store file will not do the job. If the slot is too wide, the string will move around sideways, which will cause all sorts of issues like a sitar effect, buzz, dampened strings, all these kind of things. If the slot is too narrow, it will grab your string and will not allow you to bend properly, tune your guitar properly, and all that kind of stuff. Let's file the slot for the G string. This guitar has 946 gauge strings, so I will use a 16 gauge file for the G. You have to, of course, put the string out, and then you have to tilt the file to the headstock. Don't file parallel to the fretboard. Otherwise, you'll have this uh, sitar effect. <sighs> Make sure not to overdo it. If you go too deep, you will have to fill it up with a special filler, and to be honest, it's not going to be the same again. If you have a Floyd Rose loaded guitar and you have a locking knot, you will have to work with shims under the knot to change the height. This is where the shim would go between the wood and the bottom of the locking knot. Be aware of all the different models, brands, etc. They all need different shims, so make sure to buy the correct one. Otherwise, it won't fit. If you need to lower a locking knot, let a luthier do it for you. You will have to remove the knot and file some wood under the knot, and that really needs to be plain. It's not easy to do. It's important to say that factory setups are general setups. They don't know exactly how you like your guitars. Make sure to check your nut. It can improve the playability a lot. And now it's time for a test ride. I'm really happy with the result. Let me know in the comment section how it worked out for you. And also if you have any questions regarding this subject. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitar yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech.